So now I'm going to talk about a question I get asked from time to time, which is I've got flow going through my meter, but it's not registering on my display. You know, what could be wrong? So there's only two possible reasons that this can occur. It's either gone into an alarm condition or the flow is too low for the flow meter to capture. Now, what we'll do first is we'll, we'll talk about uh, the alarm condition. So what I always say when, when someone's uh, asking me this is, is I say, look at the top line here, you know, what do you see? So what we'll do is we'll just create an alarm. I'll disconnect the sensor from the converter. So no longer can see the converter. As you can see, it's come up with all dashes there and it shows an alarm icon. And by pressing the button, we can pop that up and show what that means. Now that alarm icon means excitation failure, which is a self-health check of the converter to the sensor. And as we disconnected it, it can no longer see it. It's, it's, it's continuously monitoring it, so it's gone to this condition. Now, uh, this is a very rare condition, but it's just to show that, say, you have a separate mounted one, you have cable, anything could happen if the cable's been severed, uh, a mouse could have chewed through it, anything could have happened, but it's just there to tell you that, hey, there's an alarm. And depending on what the alarm is, obviously we would go through a troubleshooting procedure to clear that alarm and then you're back and running and you're reading your flow. But the first thing is, have a look at the top line. If it's showing all dashes, then it's in alarm condition. You can contact us at Burmad and we can help you through the troubleshooting process of clearing this alarm. So what we'll do is we'll reconnect that. We've fixed our alarm and there we go, we cleared and it's back showing 0 0.000. So sometimes people say there's, there's no alarm there, there's no dashes, but it's just showing 0, 0.00 and they have flow and it's not being registered. So this can only be for one reason. I'm gonna explain now how we can actually check that. So we'll start the pump up here. You've got flow going through your meter, but there's no alarm icons up there, but it's showing 0, 0.000 liters a second. And the only reason that can occur is your flow rate is less than the flow cutoff setting. So just to explain, for a mechanical meter, there's a certain flow rate that needs to go through the meter to, for the turbines to start turning, for it to register the flow. For mag flow meters, it's electrical. So there's an actual setting that will force the value to zero. Now, what we'll do here is to check what the setting is, I firstly would say, go to the main menu, under your options, then go down to full scale flow rate, press OK. And we can see this one here, four inch meters set up to 80 liters a second. So I would jot that figure down because it's important later. What we're gonna do now is press OK on that. We'll go back to your main menu We'll go down to parameters, press OK. Go down to filter setup, press OK. Flow cutoff, now you will be probably prompted for your level three password. Press OK there. Now we can see this is set for 2%. So 2% of 80 litres a second is 1.6 litres a second. So it is the flow cutoff Anything flows uh, 1.6 litres or below is forcing the value to zero. That's why we can't see these flows. Now, our default setting, what we recommend for nearly every application, we 0 0.05. Anything less than that, just check with us. We can check to see if it's going to be suitable. But what we can do is we can easily change this down to 0.5 to be 0 0.5 metres a second. So I'll just explain how that works. So what we do is we we'll just adjust that down to one. Now to get the fraction, we just press the pointy brackets there, go to the bottom line, which is the divider. We press the plus. Now that's now made it to half a percent. So this is an acceptable value. So now when we press OK, we've got half a percent of our 80 liters a second. So we actually got it to 0.4 liters a second. Now if we go back here, back, back, back to the main display, now we can see we're starting to read the flow rate. And we can actually adjust that, which we turn the pump off. As you can see, as the flow is slowing down, once it gets below 0.4 litres a second, you'll see that being forced down to a zero figure, because that is the threshold of where you can actually measure the flow. And it's important not to put that too low, because you don't want to read flows that don't actually exist, of course. 
But these are the only two reasons, again, that you can have flow going through your meter that's not registering on the display. So I hope that's been of help. And if you have any other technical problems, please contact us at Burmad or your local representative. Thanks for watching.